It is 618 and in this morning's diagnosis debt, we are investigating claims that a major healthcare system charged drastically different prices for the very same tests at its locations. A woman from Akron says she's been fighting hundreds of dollars in charges after finding out her lab work bill could have been much lower. So investigator Jonathan Walsh shows us what's happened and the UH response and a senator who now wants some answers. 50-year-old Cindy Fitzgerald from Akron says she was blindsided. I feel betrayed. By university hospitals. I was told something that wasn't true by one of their employees. She tells us she was at her doctor's office trying to schedule some blood work with a UH concierge via a video call. And I was told by the concierge there would be no difference. Um, no difference in price, no issues with insurance. You see, Cindy normally uses the UH Fairlawn location. It's closer to home, but she recently got a job in Streetsboro. So one day last March, she used the UH Streetsboro facility, which is closer to work. But she later got a bill for $873, which she says the same tests would have been much cheaper at Fairlawn. My insurance would have been billed $159.85. And both of those facilities are under the UH umbrella. Yes, absolutely. She says UH told her right away she's out of luck. She has to pay. She is worried about other patients, too. That have been paying these ridiculous ridiculously high rates and probably have no idea that if they drive 30 minutes southwest, it would save them $700. After five on your side investigators initially contacted UH, Cindy said she heard from the UH financial department, but it said again there would be no adjustments made to her bill. Cindy's charges have been sent to collections. How many other people is this happening to? She is now calling on Ohio legislators to create some sort of law that would address these kinds of prices that are so far apart, yet for the very same tests. To charge the same rate for the same procedure across all of their locations. It should not be these inequities within a system. Ohio Senator Nikki Antonio has been on the Health and Human Services Committee for years. She tells us she wants to now learn more about this billing differentiation from the hospital association or the provider network associations. And say, you know, are you aware of this? And tell me um, if you're aware, how are you addressing it? And if you weren't aware, I want to make you aware. And how will you address it? The senator says sometimes it takes just one individual stepping forward to make new laws. Legislation that I've been fortunate enough to pass many times has started with one person bringing an issue to me, to my office and saying, this is a problem. UH did send us a statement that says in part, it regrets and apologizes for any misunderstandings in this case. It says there are multifaceted reasons. There can be differences in the costs, depending on the location and setting where care is provided. We did not take no for an answer, asking one last time, what about the accountability factor of the UH employee telling Cindy there would be no difference in cost? Well, the very next day, Cindy got a call. They went ahead and um, adjusted the bill to what it would have been. She says UH did the right thing and offered to charge her what she would have paid at the Fairlawn location, nearly $160 instead of nearly $900. You fought for me and it's just now getting resolved and only because I reached out to you. Your fight is our fight. I'm Five on Your Sign Investigator, Jonathan Walsh. You can read the full UH statement on our News 5 app. If you have a problem, feel free to email our investigative unit at investigatortips at wews.com.